Well, they are keep on coming here this morning. We never know who's going to turn up to, to make uh, a grievance here. And Martin Perkins, XMHK, you decided you're going to go up to do one about nuclear power, is that right? Yeah, I, I think that the island hasn't actually had a good look at the SMRs, small modular reactors. If you look at the Professor Curran report, he says that we should keep a watching brief on the development of small mini nuclear reactors. And the technology has galloped ahead and we seem to just be blindly going down the route of wind turbines and solar panels. And I think we should look into exactly what is happening with SMRs because if we could get something that fitted on a tennis court and produce the base load of the island, I believe that we should look, look at it. OK, do these exist elsewhere and what's the models that they're working to? Populations of 85,000? Yeah, I mean, Americans have had battlefield um, nuclear power units that fit in a container for years. Um, but if you look at Canada, the United States, Brazil, Germany, uh, Denmark, mm -hmm. uh, India, China, Russia, they've all got these small units that are being developed. And I'm not saying go ahead with it, but just look at it and just see what the pros and cons are. Well, I can tell you right now, no one will want this one in their backyard. Well, and that is the problem with uh, the N-word, isn't it? Nuclear. Yeah. Um, and we're cutting off our nose to spite our face. Sailors have been sleeping right next to submarine nuclear power packs for years, and there's not been a problem. Mm. And the development of this is rapidly increasing, and I think we, we do owe it to the public, because the people that are going to copy it with the... Um, plans that we've got are the middle to low income people. They can't afford electric vehicles, they can't afford solar panels on their house and I believe that we owe it to the population of the Isle of Man to look at every option. So you're asking for what? A committee to be set up to look at this? Yeah, a committee of three people to investigate the benefits or otherwise it may come out that it's not possible. But let's have a look at it and not just dismiss it because of the nuclear option. If I came to you, Paul, and said, right, I can fix your electricity costs for five years, the island is going to be self-sufficient in its own electricity, we could actually sell it to the UK. If the UK is short of electricity, we could sell it to them when they need it at a good price. Do you think the MU would be looking at this anyway, if it was viable? I, I'm not sure. I think they probably have done. They have a, a couple of people that have had nuclear experience from conversations I've had with them. But I think this is just a bit of a nudge to just to make sure we've covered all our bases.